Hello, Blaine Gray here from Plastering for Beginners and in today's video I'm going to show you how to apply your first coat of plaster. In today's video I'm going to show you exact way you can get your plaster flat from stage one. I'll show you trial positions, show you the best way to get your plaster onto the wall and I'll even give you directions on which way you should be plastering. This is ideal for beginners or for anyone who's starting plastering who's never really done it before. This is usually only available to my mailing list and to people part of Plastering for Beginners and at the end of the video I'll show you how you can get involved and get these exclusive videos. So watch along, let me know what you think and then if you're happy enough wait till the end and I'll give you some more bonus tips. Cheers. So when you're plastering, you want to follow an order. So I'm right-handed, and if you are right-handed, what you do is you work left to right. And to follow an efficient routine, we're going to start at the top left, work to the right, and then bottom left, work to the bottom right. We're basically following a zigzag pattern, just a Z, and it's the most efficient way to plaster. So, again, take your plaster, don't overload the hawk, it's not worth it, it doesn't do you any favours. Just do a nice little amount so when you're taking it from the hawk onto your trowel, it's easy. Uh, like I said, we're going to start on the top left section. Take it onto the left side of your trowel, dig it into the left part of the roll and work across. And what you want to try and do is when you're applying your plaster, keep it quite flat to the wall. This means when you're moving across and you're applying the plaster, you get a nice even coverage. I'll show you what happens if you have your trowel too far open. You see? I'm digging in, it's lapping over at the bottom. It's not a real good technique. What you really want, again, put it onto your trowel, trowel close to the wall. And what you do is you move in as you're applying it. This means as you're moving your trowel in, you're spreading the plaster evenly across the wall. So again, nice and close to the wall. So as I'm applying the plaster, you can see the trowel getting close to the wall as I'm doing it. Basically, that's, as we were moving it, we're releasing the plaster, we're bringing it close to the wall. So this is what it'd look like as you're doing it. Come back on yourself. It's moving out as you go. So then again, we're releasing the plaster as released, right? So what we're doing is taking the trial and as we bring in the plaster, we bring it closer to the wall, releasing it smoothly. So again, now we're working in the bottom half of the wall, work into the corner outwards. So what I do is take it into the corner, bring it out. Again, you can see my clock trowel is quite close to the wall. This is the best way to get an even coverage. Again, back in. See how I come back on myself? If there's anything missing, if you come back on yourself, you're filling it back in again. But again, that looks a bit bubbly, can you see? I've got over that. Now I've smoothed it off. Take your plaster, and then again, this is why I come back on myself. Take it out. You want to be doing it now, you don't want to be leaving it too late. The smoother this wall is at the beginning stages, the better. And this is part of plastering, it's quite hard to get this right, but if you just follow the technique of keeping your trowel close to the wall, and again, coming back where you need to. Now I'll just speed it up a bit so you can see in real time what it'd be like. And generally the sidewards plastering is, can be a bit hard just because the reason we're doing it is we've got to work from this angle. You see, so you can't, you can't really come up. You see, I'm, I'm struggling to fill in the sections. So this is why in the internal corners we work left to right. Um, 
If it is a struggle to come back like this, what you can do is leave it. What you do is apply the plaster, take the plaster off, and then trial back over. Take the plaster off, trial back over. That way that might be a bit easier, because it is quite an advanced to come back, to come back on yourself within the same stroke might be a bit hard. So if you do struggle, take the plaster, apply it, clean the plaster off again, smooth it. So now we're going to be working from the bottom half of the work, sorry, the bottom of the wall working up. So it's going to be a different stroke, a different motion. What I'm doing is taking the plaster, and again, as we're doing it, we're going to be bringing the trowel close to the wall to release the plaster evenly. I'll show you how that works. And this is a technique I use to trowel on. And I'm going to show you, tell you why I do it, and then show you alternatives. So, take the plaster, and then what I do is take it to the top, and then come back round. And what I've done is taken the line out behind me, so again, I'll show you, bring it up, and then coming back on myself, doing a little curve at the bottom and trying to take out the lines I've done before. That's one way of doing it, yet yeah, this might be a bit easy if you're starting out. Take your plaster, put it on, clean the plaster off, and then come back on yourself the way you came, taking out any lines. I don't want you to worry when you're plastering that it won't look like this. I've been doing it for many years, I apply it a lot smoother, and this is the way it is, but I just want you to practice getting your trials in, getting your technique. You might have lines somewhere, you might have a few bubbles, you might have a few ripples. Don't worry, because we've got plenty of time to flatten it, smooth it out. I don't want you rushing, spending too much time trying to do this. I'm just showing you these techniques to show you what you can do. And as you get better, progress is something to think about. But we'll... How was it? Did you find it useful? Please leave a comment on the YouTube videos below. Let us know what you think. Really appreciate any feedback you give. And you know, anything that you do supply, we'll put into mind. And if you have any ideas of any other future videos, just let us know and I'll try and get them across onto the channel. Um, if you did like the videos, there's a link below where you can subscribe to a welcome course courtesy of our website, Welcome for Beginners. It's completely free. And we'll show you the full process of plastering from start to finish. With this in mind, now you know how to apply the plaster, you can start using it to go further in your journey of plastering. And this is ideal for anyone who's starting out, any beginners, and anyone who's really interested in learning to plaster. So if you like the videos, please like and subscribe to our channel. You know, it's, that's what we need, that's what keeps us going. Leave feedback, give us a comment, and if you are happy, sign up to the welcome course below the video for free training where you get more videos like this. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.